Well, from conversations about our health to conversations about our healthcare workers who are doing absolutely fantastic work while also finding some time to enjoy themselves. Now, healthcare workers at the False Bay Hospital in the Mother City have taken time out of their busy schedules to take part in the trending hashtag Jerusalem Dance Challenge. Now, with South Africa still under lockdown and many still fearing the coronavirus, the staff at False Bay Hospital decided to lift the spirits of those around them through dance. Take a quick look. Jerusalem, I call on me. from the helipad there. Now this morning, social worker Marion Thomas joins us via video call to talk about their trending dance video. A very good morning to you, Marion. How are you this morning? I'm well, thank you, Katleko. How are you? Very well. You just put the biggest smile on my face just uh, after watching that <laughs> video. Congratulations on that, on that video. Very popular it is of your staff members impressively dancing, very coordinated. The choreography looks in sync. Talk to me about how you decided on doing the Jerusalem Challenge. Uh, we had for a while in our, I mean, a, an admin corridor, and there were a few of us that were saying, we need to do this dance. We're being challenged by the facilities, and we weren't quite sure how we were going to coordinate it. And then on Tuesday morning, I got a phone call from someone, one of the patients, in fact, uh, Ignite You, and she said, I want to do this for you. I hear you want to do the Jerusalem dance. Let me come and choreograph it for you. And she came during our lunch breaks, worked around our schedule, and gave us the workout of our life <laughs> in order <laughs> in order to be able to do this. And it just, it came together so beautifully. Everyone just was feeling better. There was a different of a lift in the hospital. People were just feeling better. And you know, as we as we approach level two, and as we go into level two now, and we have to open up services again, we are obviously apprehensive. So this has given us an opportunity to be able to do it safely and do it with some some dancing in in between as well. <laughs> I'm looking at these <laughs> these visuals, and I'm wondering, wait, who's back at the hospital when all of you are on the head? <laughs> Did you have to do it in shifts and move around? <laughs> we, yeah, yes, we did. We had to do it in shifts, and we had to make sure that everyone there was, you know, the patients weren't neglected at all, and we, we did it so so well. So I can honestly say everyone was done safely. Social distance was practiced. You can see we were wearing our masks. <laughs> we had a lot of fun for for the first time in a long time. I think it just brought us together as a staff as well, yeah. and we were able to enjoy ourselves just despite all the things that has been going on in our country. So we danced for South Africa on Friday and that we had wonderful. a ball. That's wonderful. And, and so how many of your staff members participated and how long did it take to get everyone to learn the choreography? So it, it took us three days to learn the choreography. And that was, you, you know, the weather wasn't exactly great. So in Fishhook, the wind blows. We have yeah. gale force winds. And we were dancing in the wind. We were dancing in the rain. We were getting these steps right. In fact, I would do my ward rounds and I'd find nurses doing the practicing the dance steps as they're doing their rounds. I would see people in the admin corridor practicing, the, <laughs> the guys in the kitchen, the, everyone that were just was trying to get it right. Yeah. And when we did the run through on Friday, it just looked stunning. And it, we were even bigger than we expected. So we had close on, I think, 60 staff members participating. Wow. And, um, and that wasn't just from the dancing. We had people recording. We had them taking, as you can see from the aerial view, someone was standing up in the office taking it for us as well. 
We had a ball. That's absolutely fantastic. Now, as hospital staff working on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, first of all, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much for what you have done to help us as a country to get to where we are. Absolutely fantastic work from you. But what advice can you give to South Africans as we enter level two of lockdown uh, with eased restrictions? You know, Katleko, I think the biggest advice is to do it safely. One of the biggest things we've been seeing is a rise in anxiety during this lockdown. And as social workers, we've had to battle that on the front line quite a bit. So if I can ask South Africa to please go into level two with safety precautions, practice your social distancing, wear your mask, make sure that you sanitize or wash your hands. There are five golden rules for a reason and they will keep you safe. So make sure that we can do this together safely. Sage words. Thank you very much there, social worker Marion Thomas. And please thank everyone else at the hospital as well for putting a massive, big smiles on uh, all of our faces here in the studio and I'm sure across the country as well. I will do. Thank you for having us. Now, we at the Expressor family, we'd certainly like to express our heartfelt thanks, gratitude and appreciation to all of the healthcare workers out there for their commitment and dedication during this time. We salute you all and please keep up the fantastic work. You are in our hearts and in our prayers. Thank you.